This is part 7 and the last part of the tutorial of sculpting a piece of sushi using our iPad in an app called Nomad Sculpt and rendering this out in Blender. I picked up 3D art a couple months ago and I've been practicing my ass off every chance I get. And now it's the most popular thing I do. I named this piece Dead Hamachi and I'm going to show you how I sell my artwork too. In a folder I have a full resolution and a optimized version. Here I want to add a 3D print file or an STL file. I'll airdrop it and put it into that folder. The internet is changing pretty quickly and evolving at a fast pace so I want to make sure my collectors have something from me. It's a perk, it's a freebie so I upload it to Google Drive and before I put it up for sale I'm going to make sure I add it to my portfolio website. I document all my projects and with each piece I feel like I'm getting better and better. So I'll add a new page. It's a sushi eat sushi world. Unlike my mind, I want to make sure my portfolio is organized for you. I'm adding all the parts of the tutorial that I've been filming lately here on my TikTok. This is built on Squarespace. Next, I want to create a digital asset that's taxable and fully legal. I connect my MetaMask wallet to OpenSea.io. I upload an optimized JPEG, name my artwork, add the website, create attributes. And next, I want to include the unlockable content. Next, I choose a blockchain. I'll choose a gas-free, proof-of-stake blockchain, add 10 additions, and create. I've been having a lot of success using the ERC-1155 token. The reason why I sell my artwork only as digital assets is because of royalties. These tokens are like my rookie card. As my skills grow, as my recognition grows, so does the value of my artwork. These are like interplanetary trading cards. You can track and see everyone who has ever owned a piece and every time it's resold, I get 10% of that value. My artwork is almost like a stock. It's a way for everybody to own a piece of my journey as they follow. I price my artwork the way I do at 0.02 ETH because you never want to buy anything at the top. I want to make sure that the entry point into my art is not so painful to the wallet. <laughs> After I create the asset, then I share it with my followers. I love TikTok because I get to document what I do and most importantly have fun with it.